Okay, here's our user form. Uh, I, I, I moved around some of the controls just to make it uh, look a little less cluttered at the bottom. And I want to I wanna add a control here for this ref edit. So I want to copy this label and change it to uh, format range. And I'll move it up a little bit. And I'll put this ref edit control here, right below it. And I'll change the name of this thing to ref edit under, underscore range or uh, center range. And now if I run this, here's my ref edit control. And what it does, it allows you to select a cell on a worksheet. So a little box pops up, and when you select cells on the worksheet, you can see though that range appears in the box. And when you click this button, there's the range that I just selected. And now that is passed in. That can be passed in as a string, and you can, you can access that range. So let's do something with this range. So what we're going to do is, when I click the button, whatever range they pass in, I want to center it. Uh, to see how to center cells, let's record a macro. So I'll just go to Developer tab, Record Macro, and I'll click uh, OK, Macro 7. It says Macro 7 is the name. I'll click OK. I will highlight all the cells, and I'm just going to go to the Home tab and click Center and then back to the developer tab and stop recording. So now I have a macro and if I go up here to macros, that little icon, I can go down to macro 7 and click step into. And here's my here's my macro that centers cells. So I can what I can do is um, What I can do is, let's see, what orientation? All I really want is this line here, this Excel center. As we've seen before, the macro, macro recorder kind of gives you too much sometimes, some code that you don't really want. All I want is this bit of code here. So I'm going to cut that. I'll just delete the rest of this. And I'll go into my form again and double click on double click on the button and here I'll write some code to center the range the user provided to do that all I need to do is something like this declare a string variable uh, range to format as string and I'll, I'll paste this code in but what I'm going to do is to range to format that string variable is going to equal my ref edit what was the name of it dot value I gotta find the name of it sorry ref edits center range ref edits underscore center range And now I could do something like this. If they pass in a range, let's do an if statement. If range to format does not equal blank, then I want to format those cells like this. else I'm just gonna end if but I have to do this oh I have to change this up a little bit I have to do set um, format I'll just do set RNG set RNG equal to range range to format and then with 
the RNG, I'm going to center that range. So I need to declare another variable up here, a range variable, a range object. So I'll do RNG as range. Because I want to center a range of cells, I need a range object. So here's my range object. Notice I do RNG as range. That gives me a range object. Then what I do right here is I get the string they pass in. Well, this is actually a string, so let me do this. str range to format. And I'll go up here and change that variable name to str range to format. So the value from this ref edit control is going to be a string. And I check and see if that string is empty. If it is, I'm not going to do anything. If it's not empty, that means they, they did select a range. In that case, I set this range variable equal to range str range to format. So this creates a range that is composed of this, the address in this string. So basically I'm passing in a string of addresses of cells and when I surround it with our range, it gives me a range object. And I use the set keyword to assign to that range object and then I can do uh, with RNG make the horizontal alignment property equal to center. So let's see if this works. Uh, let me go into the worksheet and I'm going to center everything left and then I'm going to run this and I'm going to put Bob I'm going to put great I'm going to do I can leave all this and I'm going to do select a range here. So notice these are formatted. These are centered to the left, or these are oriented to the left. When I run this, these are going to be formatted in the center. And notice they are. I hit the button, and they're formatted in the center. And that's the range B7 to B11. Here's B7, here's B11 that I passed in. And they were formatted in the center because of what we just saw. When I hit the button, I go to this ref edit control, ref edit underscore center stage or center range. I get the value of it, which is a string. I pass it to a string variable. I check that string variable to see if it's blank or not. If it's not blank, then I create a range object here and I assign it to my range object variable RNG and then I do with RNG I set some properties of that range and I do XL center so that's all the the ref edit underscore center range does notice if I leave it blank so let me run this and I will just leave this blank so I'm going to leave it blank, I'm going to hit enter, and uh, it didn't error out or anything, so it's working just fine. Uh, that's all That's all this video is meant to do, is show you what that, that ref edit control does. Just be aware that it passes, it gives you a string, and if you want to do something with that range, you need to, you need to create a range object like we did here. So you need to have this RNG declared as a range object up here. So it's pretty cool. You can get a lot of information from the user. All right, next video, we will cover a few of the things we haven't covered yet in this controls tab. And then we'll be done with the forms. So now you should be able to create really cool forms that take information from the user. And in our case, we're putting them on a worksheet but you can do whatever the heck you want to do with them. So all this data that we're getting, you know, I'm putting it on a worksheet. You could do all kinds of stuff. You can grab data from the user, run some calculation, um, all kinds of crazy stuff. 
All right, we'll move on and finish up the user forms uh, in the next video.